is a great um, and an honor as Hope Living in Hope Time is with Mr. Richard Mill. Uh, we're in New York City tonight at the St. Regis Hotel as tonight's a very special night um, as we're unveiling a new ambassador to the brand, uh, probably one of the biggest actresses in the world, Natalie Portman. So congratulations and tell us a little about how special this evening is for the brand. I would say, personally, I don't choose much uh, the term of ambassador because um, um, it's very marketing orientated and I wish that uh, the, 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 the friends of, uh, the, of the family uh, that, uh, that we have got, we, we create uh, a very special kind of relationship and when we work uh, with the, together with my friends like that, we share a passion. Because a lot of people know about the watches, but I think it's important to also understand as an entrepreneur your mentality, how you always are branding that company in that way. Yes, in fact, I did the opposite <laughs> way of the normal way. Uh, uh, that is to say, uh, uh, I didn't start from uh, a market point of view. Uh, I didn't start with... Uh, uh, of course, I know that those products are very expensive, but the, the price is not a, a positioning choice. The, the price is the result of the technical, aesthetical, etc. choices. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. if you take into consideration that the global volume of the, 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 the brand is, uh, is limited, uh, because I'm not interested by the, the mass market. Each watch, the average of, uh, uh, of parts that go to the garbage uh, that, mm -hmm. uh, that are wasted, uh, is between 35 to 40 percent. I think that's important to understand how you said 30 to 40 percent is trial and error throwing away and continuing yeah. to perfect the brand. And as a brand owner, how important is that as you build your brand and people pay money for quality and to be happy with the purchase? How important is that as you know, putting your name on the watch to you? When it, it has got your name, it's important that uh, uh, you fulfill the mission. If I can say, yeah. Uh, so it's it's a responsibility, but uh, uh, at the same time it goes very well. Uh, at the beginning, of course, not anymore because now the the brand is extremely well established. But at the beginning, it was a, a big risk because uh, I opened a new segment of the market. I didn't know, and nobody knew what was this segment because it was a new segment. Uh, it was a real adventure. Uh, I wanted to work uh, uh, in a club that is very, very closed uh, uh, of the top, top, mm -hmm. top, top uh, uh, luxury brands. And the fact of being different. You built a brand that, you know, the richest people in the world are spending their harder, you know, their money on wearing your watches and these people could buy anything but they're choosing your watches. and. That's what's so remarkable about you as an entrepreneur. Yeah, what what, what I love maybe most mm -hmm. uh, into this uh, success uh, is the fact that the watch itself is a very low profile watch. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, it's quite light. It's uh, certainly the opposite of people could call a bling bling watch. Yes, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a very clinical watch. Uh, very serious, mm -hmm. uh, strong personality, but very serious. And uh, I love this combination of something low profile and full of technique. And I love uh, to go, uh, I was certainly the first to, 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 uh, to do extremely light watches. Yeah. Uh, because you know, the, the topic in the marketing is uh, for the people to uh, uh, the word that the, 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 the marketers use is uh, the perceived value, so the, the watch weights a lot, then it has a value. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to prove that this was totally wrong. Uh, it's wrong uh, uh, in the aircraft industry, it's wrong in the, uh, today in the automobile industry, and nothing more comfortable to wear than the light watch. Well, I just want to tell you, I mean, Hope Living is one of the biggest fans of the Richard Miller brand, and it's exciting to continue to see developments of the brand and everything you do is, is, is on a 
all the rebels a list that we don't cut in corners or anything. So thank you for taking the time uh, to sit down. For you, and you will see the best is to come. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you again for today.